Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be doing a problem of the week. Uh, for the full problem of the week, you can see the link in the description on the YouTube channel. So this, is, this problem of the week is secant cubed of x dx. This might be something that you're familiar with from Calc 2 or something. You might have seen this on an exam at some point, and it seems pretty, pretty daunting. I mean, we don't know any basic formula that will allow us to take the integral of secant cubed of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of trigonometric identities to be able to allow us to use some kind of clever tricks to solve this integral. So before I start this, I'm going to just write out one of the trig identities that I'm going to use, which you will be familiar with. OK, so we have here 1 plus tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. You can obtain this trigonometric identity from the, the one you may be more familiar with, which is just sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So, OK, so now we're going to go from here. <clears throat> we're going to break up the secant cubed x into two parts, secant squared of x and secant of x. OK, so now you can see the reason why I did this is because I want to be able to use this trigonometric identity here. So for the next step, I'm going to plug in this trig identity here for secant squared of x. So this is just going to come down here to substitute for that. So instead of secant squared of x, we have 1 plus tangent squared of x times, and I'm just bringing down the secant of x. OK. So now for the next step, I'm just going to distribute the secant of x over to the 1 and over to the tangent of x. So we're left with. 1 times secant of x is just secant of x plus secant of x times tangent, tangent squared of x dx. OK, so now here we can use the linearity of the integral to distribute the integral over both terms because we're just adding here. I've just distributed the integral, so we have integral of secant of x dx here, and we have integral of secant of x tangent squared of x here. So nothing changed in these terms, I just brought the integral over to both. So now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we know what integral of secant of x is. You might not remember what secant of, integral, a secant of x is, but it is a known fact that the integral of secant of x is equal to ln secant x plus tangent of x plus a constant. So that is the integral of secant of x dx. <clears throat> and so now we're left with um, integral of secant of x tangent squared of x dx. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down kind of similarly to what I did before with the secant cubed of x. I'm going to break it down into kind of two separate parts. And then I'm going to do integration by parts. <clears throat> so you may notice here I added a plus c because we're doing indefinite integrals. When we do the integration by parts, technically there will be the addition of another constant, but I'm just going to leave it as one single constant um, for the purpose of this video. And so you can just assume that there will be, it's two constants added together, which is just, you can just represent it as a single constant. So what we have here is we integrated secant of x dx. <clears throat> and so now I'm going to break up the secant of x tangent squared of x dx into the following. And I'll group them together with parentheses to make it clear. <clears throat> OK. So I broke it down into secant of x, tangent of x, and tangent of x. So now I'm going to do integration by parts. So the method that I always use, and the method that is pretty standard, is to do the following. You choose one to integrate and one to differentiate. So we know that, we know what the integral, or we know, excuse me, yeah, what the integral of this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, <clears throat> okay. Okay, so the one that I'm going to integrate is going to be secant of x tangent of x. And then what that I'm going to differentiate is going to be tangent of x. 
So now what we need to do is we need to take the uh, we need to take the derivative of tangent of x. So the derivative of tangent of x is just going to be secant squared of x. And the integral of secant of x tangent of x is just secant of x. So now to finish doing your integration by parts, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off these two multiplied together. <clears throat> and then we are going to add the integral of these two. OK, so I'm just going to bring this down here. So the ln stays the same. So we still have ln of the absolute value secant of x plus tangent of x plus c. And then this, by integration by parts, we subtract off, <clears throat> or excuse me, um, I should have said, we're going to subtract off the, we're going to add the integral of these two and, or subtract the integral of these two, I'm sorry, and add the, these two multiplied together. <clears throat> so what we do now is we subtract off tangent of x, uh, or we add, excuse me, tangent of x, secant of x, and we subtract off the integral of secant squared of x times secant of x, which is secant cubed of x. So we just did integration by parts here. OK. So the next step here is you're going to notice that all along we were, this would be, you're setting, you're solving for this. So you're solving for secant cubed of x dx. So right now you can imagine here you have a secant cubed of x dx on this side, but you also have one on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a secant cubed of x dx to both sides so we can simplify this. So now what we're going to get over here <clears throat> is we have 2 times the integral of secant cubed x dx. We can bring the 2 over here using the linearity of the integral. And we have equals. And what we're just going to bring over is ln of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x plus c plus tangent of x secant of x. <clears throat> Basically, all that remains when you take away this integral here. So we're left with ln of the absolute value secant of x plus tangent of x <clears throat> plus tangent x secant x. <clears throat> and then you have the plus c. So in order to finish solving the problem, we're just going to divide by the constant 2 over here. So we divide everything by 2, and we end up getting that the integral of secant cubed of x dx, what we were looking for, is equal to <clears throat> this is going to have to be on um, two lines here, excuse me, plus tangent of x secant of x plus c, and you're dividing all of this by 2. So this would normally just be on one line, but I couldn't fit it on this one line over here. OK, so now we have solved for the integral of secant cubed of x dx. So um, in case you don't believe me, we're going to check our work by just differentiating here to make sure that we just get secant cubed of x back. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite this over here on one line. Okay, so I'm going to take ddx of this. So basically I'm going to differentiate this with respect to x. What we're doing right now is we're checking to make sure that we get back secant cubed of x as our result. OK, so now we're going to differentiate this with respect to x. So let's differentiate term by term here. So the, diff, um, the derivative of this, we know by definition, is just secant of x. So this becomes secant of x. And now we can use the product rule. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to divide it by 2 here. So 
In fact, I can just bring the constant outside of the front when I'm doing this here. Okay, because the reason I can bring the constant outside of the front is because if you think of this as one half times all of this on the top here, you can do kind of the product rule um, on that where you, you take the derivative of all of this. Um, so, and then the, the one half would just go to zero. Um, so we bring the one half outside. Uh, the, the derivative of ln of secant of x plus tangent of x is just secant of x. And now we use the product rule again to differentiate tangent of x, secant of x. So the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. So we have plus secant squared of x, secant of x, <clears throat> plus, um, make this a little bit bigger here, on the second line here, plus uh, the derivative of secant of x, which is um, secant of x tangent of x all times tangent of x, and then the derivative of the plus c is just going to go to zero. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to simplify this here by combining some like terms. So see that the secant squared of x times secant of x here becomes secant cubed of x. And so now down here we have secant of x and then tangent x times tangent x is just tangent squared of x. <clears throat> so our trigonometric identity from before is going to come back in handy. Um, let me rewrite that over here. We had 1 plus <clears throat> tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. And now we want to substitute in, because our goal is in the end to get only secant of x's. So right here we're going to solve for tangent of x in terms of secant squared of x. So subtracting 1 from both sides, we have tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. So now I'm going to substitute this in right here. Okay, so I'm going to bring the one half out here. And so now we have secant x plus secant cubed of x plus secant x, and then here making that substitution, secant squared x minus 1. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute the secant of x over here to try to simplify this a little bit more. So secant of x times secant squared of x is going to be secant cubed of x, and then secant of x times negative 1 is minus secant of x. So now, I'm just going to combine like terms here. So secant of x minus secant of x is 0. And secant cubed of x plus secant cubed of x is equal to 2 secant cubed of x. So we have here 1 half times 2 secant cubed of x. And 1 half times 2, it just goes to 1. So you end up getting here final answer of secant cubed of x. So now we know that our integral is right because we differentiated and we got secant cubed of x. So that will solve this problem of the week. Um, so for more problem of the week videos, you can go to our playlist. To subscribe to us on YouTube, you can click here. And for more math videos, you can go to centerofmath.org. Thank you for watching.